I want to have a look at the difference that hot water and cold water makes when we try and put in a crystal and see what happens. Let's have a go. I have here two beakers containing the same amount of water. This contains hot water, as you can probably tell by the condensation, and this contains cold water. And here we've got two crystals of potassium permanganate, a very sort of intense dye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the two crystals into the water in the center as best I can. And what we're going to try and see is the difference that happens. We can see that the hot water is immediately diffusing or allowing the diffusion of the potassium permanganate very much faster. We can see the growth in real time. I let the water stand for five minutes or so before I put this in and that's made sure there's been no sort of movement of the water and we can see very quickly that the in the hot water the potassium permanganate is spreading out very quickly and in the cold water it is spreading out but very much slower we can see two rings in fact they're a complete gradient of from very light to very dark and already this one has occupied nearly half the area at the bottom and in a minute we should probably see it start to go uphill and there it goes we will have not much in the way of a convection current going on but there will be a little bit and here you can see the hot is spreading out quite quickly starting to move as well as out now up through the liquid and in just a matter of a few minutes we should manage to get this one to completely diffuse through the water and all of it will become pink whereas this one is doing exactly the same but so much slower than in hot water. So we can clearly see in the hot water the molecules are moving faster than they are in the cold water. And this fact helps us with all sorts of things with chemical reactions. Just a fact here we can see that not doing any chemical reaction at all we've got faster movement of the potassium permanganate in the hot water than we do in the cold. So we can see that if we are looking at the rate of a reaction then this temperature that we're working at is going to have some effect. And what we can do is we can leave this now for a few minutes and we can see what happens to this over that time. So speeding this up just for a few minutes we've seen that here this is diffused throughout the water whereas the other one is only just starting to rise up through the water. So we can see how quick the diffusion process takes place. 